We ain't even in no club, nigga. <laughs> you right outside. Fourth of July shit, nigga. Bad boy shit. Right here in the trenches. Big battle shit. That's Dominique Hamler. Hey, what's that in the world, man? It's your boy, your boy Escobar, checking in live, man. It's another episode at Indiana, the Civil War. Man, it's that free little scooter episode brought to you by Capture the Moment Films. Free racks. Go ahead and write that, boy. Here's his DLC number, nigga. Bye. What's good, world? It's your boy, Yo-Yo Escobar, man. We back for another episode of Indiana, the Civil War, man. I do you know. Fuck. It's the little scooter episode, man. That's a little scooty. That's a little scooter. And y'all, of course, y'all know little Bango. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, man. Little Scooter, man, he was one of the most controversial artists in Indianapolis. You know, one of the most controversial artists. Uh, he had a lot of mixtapes out, man. Um, straight Thing Music. Um, him and Lil Bango worked side by side. Um, they was actually best friends. Um, you see Lil Bango, you see Lil Scooter, you know what I'm saying? Lil Nate, um, Lil Terry. You know what I mean? The usual suspects and shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, uh, the crazy thing about Lil Scooter is what makes him so controversial is um, the situation he got with him. Now, um, he is currently incarcerated at um, Indiana State Prison. He was um, locked up for a murder that occurred uh, November 15, 2012. He was uh, convicted in um, May of four May 2014, along with D. Rock. You know what I mean? Free everybody who got jammed up in this situation. They were both sentenced to 140 years. Um, Lil was sentenced to 275. Scooter's earliest release date is uh, 2083. Um, I currently just reached out to him for an interview. Hopefully, he'll get back at me and shit. You know what I mean? So we can. Uh, you get an update on this current situation, how he's doing, you know what I mean, his current mind state, hopefully he's in good spirits and shit, man, keep it up. He was signed to, uh, they had, they owned and operated their own record label action and shit, it was called Lucci ENT, Straight Thing Music Group, uh, him and Lil Bango owned and operated that, um, but they were signed to Scooty, which, uh, in my eyes, Scooty run the music scene in Indiana. They put several music videos out, several projects and shit. They got a lot of music videos out too. Y'all go YouTube, Google, be searching on whatever y'all gotta do, SoundCloud, all that shit. Type in Lucci ENT or MRC ENT, Lil Bang on Lil Scooter, man, shit crazy. Um, they got videos like Hella Perp, uh, you know what I mean, Hella Perp, um, MOB, um, man, they got a lot of shit. I can't even go down a whole list of this shit, man. Uh, Beast Mode. A lot of shit, man. All y'all gotta do to check out this shit. You go to YouTube, type Lucci ENT, press motherfucking in, all this shit gonna pop up. You feel me? All this shit. Cut those shit back. All that right there, shit. Bust some moves. All that shit. I previewed and showed y'all that bust some moves in episode one, that little bangle episode. Salute to whole Lucci and T, whole KG. Like I said, school is currently doing 140 years. He had to stay in prison, man. Um, like I said, a murder that he was convicted of that happened in November 15, 2012. Of a local DJ named DJ Keys. Now, y'all can go look that shit out on your own time and shit, you know what I'm saying? Also, y'all can write school and put money on his books, whatever y'all want to do, man. Dominique Hamler, man. Y'all look that shit up. Dominique Hamler, Indiana. Uh, go ahead and send you, you know what I mean? 
chain pay, whatever y'all gotta do, man. Fuck with the boy. But anyways, <clears throat> very crazy situation. Like I said, man, six people got convicted of a crazy murder. <clears throat> Two victims. One was an attempted murder. Uh, he actually lives. And I think that's pretty much how they got convicted. So little D Rock. I did episode three about D Rock. D Rock, little brother, D Rock. He also got convicted, like I said, under 40 years. Salute D Rob, y'all wanna write him, send him anything, Dante Robinson. Once again, man, he they fuck with KG and T. Y'all know KG and T is history. Y'all know them boys get down, how they get down, you know what I'm saying? So everything pretty much scooter them rap about, you know what I mean? They live that shit. You know what I'm saying? So this ain't no motherfucking storybook character ass niggas, man. These niggas rap that shit, they talk that shit, you know what I'm saying? So y'all stay in tune with um Buck G from Lucci. Um, everybody from Lucha that's actually still out, you know what I'm saying, and free, that's still doing music and shit, y'all still saying something and shit. Like I said, man, salute Lil Scooter, man, salute Bango, and salute motherfucking B-Rock, but Nate, so hard, man, everybody got fucked up in that situation. The song y'all heard at the beginning is actually a clip from another Indian episode artist, man, it's named Lil Pooty. It's a song called Think About It. Now, if y'all go listen to it on your own time, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna put his music out there too much and shit, you know what I mean? Y'all go Google that shit, YouTube that shit, something like that shit. That shit crazy. And I actually got a chance to interview Pootie. <clears throat> I'm gonna ask him a question about the lyric and how he came about the song and shit. He just basically, you know, he from Indianapolis, so he know all parties involved just like I do. So it's basically, he just, he had to speak about it. You know what I'm saying? He had to say how he felt. And that's the only reason why I played the, the news clip. Y'all can also go look at all the news clips and shit on your own time and shit. Say he just felt like he wanted to speak about it, shed light on the situation. Cause like I said, if we don't shed light on the city, who the fuck will? That's why I do Indiana the Civil War series, not for the city. Basically give his input, man. You know what I mean? He's a, a very well-respected artist in the city, man. Y'all go stay in tune, put it too, man. Lil Pooty Section 8, live in the end of the Civil War, so I always touch on beef. That's the only reason why I even, it's not even beef, like I said, it's just a man speaking his his mind, you know what I'm saying, telling shit from his point of view and shit. Like I said, that's why I went through a little scooter interview, and I feel like it'll be good for the city, because, like I said, he, he was a known artist, everything that guy got numbers on it, you know what I mean, even from the old, like, little videos, like, this shit was probably shot off the cell phone, 84,000, and them was original views, they didn't buy shit, you know what I'm saying, they had a heavy fan base in Indianapolis, you know what I'm saying, they grew up behind the fairgrounds, you know what I'm saying, grew up in high school, you know what I'm saying, um, same thing going to a different high school, but I remember school in the, the Broadway country, you know these little niggas, man, was just running around terrorizing the city and shit, and um, they had, uh, you know, a little beef, you know, here and there and shit. Like I said, it's in the end of the Civil War, so I like touching on beef, man. Salute to Bad News, man. Salute to Bad Side ENT, man. You know, they used to go back and forth with Gucci a lot and shit, you know what I mean? You could probably decipher some of the shit if y'all, if y'all know the city, y'all run out. If you learn about the city and learn about the culture and learn about the artists and the beefs and just everything about the city, y'all can probably decipher some of the lyrics in the songs and shit. But they used to go back and forth, but they actually had a song they actually did together. You know what I mean? Which was really good for the city. In my in my eyes, in my opinion, that shit good for the city, man. When, when two parties and, and, and two gangs, whatever you wanna, whatever the city wanna clarify these people, you know what I mean? We all humans as individuals at the end of the day. So whatever the city wanna clarify these people, two sides of different towns, that's 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 feuding, that's got problems and shit. When they can come together and make great music, that shit, that shit good for the city, man. That's what the Chicago niggas be trying to do. That's what Atlanta niggas be trying to do. You know what I mean? New York niggas, everybody, that they all try to come together and make that crazy ass track that's just like, damn. But anyways, like I said, they got to try together, man. It's a little new Show Off remix, man. Original Show Off, I'm going to say, um, featuring Lil Don. Like I said, so like, shout out to Bass INT, man. I'm going to do an episode, uh, probably, probably <clears throat> 9 or 10 about Lil Noob. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, the boy be putting on for the city. He got a lot of, a lot of content, a lot of material out. You know what I mean? A lot of mixtapes, a lot of videos. He got interviews. He's been featured on Leak magazine. Like, this, this is real crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, anyways, they had a song and shit together, man. It's called Show Off Remix. Like I just said, uh, it's featuring Lil Bango, Lil New, Lil Scooter. Um, I'm gonna say J Rock. From Bad Saiyan. The song was crazy. It was good for the city. Man, you don't get no better than that, man. So like I said, I, I'm waiting on a uh, school to reply. You know what I mean? Get me back for the interview and shit. And once you get back at me, I will be conducting that interview. And I'm going to get it out for y'all, man. In the end of the Civil War, I mean, I stay in tune, man. Free racks and militia, man. Caption a moment films. I'm Yo-Yo Escobar. Y'all good with me. Y'all just stay in tune with everything I got, man. I got music videos, mixtapes, and all that shit, too, man. Free school. Gucci was happening.